good YouTube is bug stay lifted I got another bill video for y'all today and I know y'all ain't seen this nowhere but I got a pure lockdown with a playmaking takeover I seen I, I seen I seen other lockdown builds I haven't seen any anybody with a lockdown a pure lockdown at the height of six five I got a six five it ain't too hard to make but you you do get less badges but you faster so I'll let y'all know that so y'all gonna start off at the point guard Not anything else don't matter I just know it's gonna be a pure lockdown I'm gonna go with the all red pie chart for the physical pie chart you're gonna go to the one at the very bottom the top one is is, is definitely similar but you need the strength so we're gonna go with that one for your close shot, you're going to put that 64, max your driving layup. For your driving dunk, put that at 85. And you're going to get four finishing badges. Max your midi. Three-pointer, put that at 48, actually. I'm going to show you all how we're going to get that back right, though. But you want to um, take one off post phase. So midi 66 348 max your free throw post phase 64 and so you get all three of your shooting badges max your pass accuracy max ball handle and just put one on post moves to put that at 30 that's only you nine playmaking badges for your interior max that perimeter put 82 steel max that block max that and defensive rebound max that and simple as that that's how you get your pure lockdown with playmaking takeover you don't gotta go with playmaking takeover but you know i'm saying if you, if you want to get slashed and take over I'm, I'm gonna drop another build video for y'all you and know i'm saying to show y'all the best way to make it with slash and take over but still with your playmaking badges too because you you just not gonna have that much offense if you don't if you don't got playmaking badges. like even even if you could shoot on this build like you you still need to need to get around you know what i'm saying so it just make it definitely a lot easier when you got a couple playmaking badges on there get your uh go quick first step so oh yeah i ain't even i ain't even said nothing <laughs> since we left this this screen i'm tripping so you're gonna go with any body shape you know what i'm saying go whatever you want you're gonna go up to six five you can't go six six but you have to uh change up some stuff a little bit 6-6 six, six do get more finishing badges though I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know that but 6-5 faster so and I, I'd rather play point <laughs> like with this build I got playmaking takeover too so I'd rather be put closer to the point guard position like when I'm in rec than closer to the uh, like a shooting guard position and like I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I just, I just want to run a point. <laughs> Even though it's a pure lockdown, I got ball handle. I got playmaking badges. I got pass accuracy. But six five max your weight out at two fifteen. Wingspan, not the, not the max wingspan, but the notch right up under that, eighty five point three. Then so you got your, your pure lockdown. You could choose from lockdown takeover or playmaking takeover. We're gonna choose playmaking. And that's how you get your lockdown defender with the play badge. I'm gonna show y'all where to put the badges. You got so many, so many defensive badges, like it really, it really don't matter where you put them at. Like I don't see how you can have bad defense if as long as you max out your clamps and anything else is like do whatever you want. But we only got four finishing badges. The other the other lockdowns, I know I made I made it with like seven, eight finishing badges. You you really just don't need that much. Like especially when you got contact dunks, you you definitely don't need that that many uh, finishing badges. Like I was going with bronze contact finisher. Like I got, I got a lot of clips of bronze contact finisher on my uh, two way slash and playmaker, and it's just just banging on like like it's like you really just don't need that many uh finishing badges but you want to go gold contact finisher and then bronze either bronze relentless bronze giant slayer or bronze consistent finisher but i'm gonna say 
I'm gonna say consistent just so because it, it's, it's better for making layups relentless is better for helping me helping you dunk and pretty much on your takeoff and everything but it's your shooting badges now most people will tell you go silver quick draw bronze high zone hunter I'm not I'm not against that but I, I just I don't know I just don't really use the quick draw on silver with jump shot 38 it's just not much of a timing difference between no quick draw and silver quick draw so like you using two badge points just for to help you out with like 12 milliseconds like like I mean, I mean, I mean, not 12 milliseconds. Like, like even uh, even smaller window than that. Like, it's it's just it's just not that much faster. But I would go silver hot zone hunter and bronze range extender. That's just me personally. But if y'all want to go, make sure you got jump shot 38 though. Like that's you gotta do that first. <laughs> but that's where I would set them badges up at. If you want to go silver, um, quick draw, you definitely can. Right, it's, your shot is a little bit quicker, but just know only a little bit. Uh, so for the playmaking badges, this is a pure lockdown, but we got we getting pro pro dribble moves, so why not go unpluckable, go bronze on the space creator, and go bronze on the bailout silver handles for days and that <laughs> that is how I'm about to run with this build like this is about to get crazy bronze space creator does work you do get space you get stuns you even on bronze like I def I definitely been testing it on bronze uh, but for your for your defending badges Hall of Fame clamps obviously you don't want to go bronze on a chase down Max out Interceptor, Max out Intimidator, Rebound Chaser. You a point guard, so you really don't need Rebound Chaser. I say just put it on Bronze. You can go, you could put Tireless on Bronze, uh, Pogo on Silver, Pickpocket. You really don't need it. Um, go on Off Ball Pass. You will need Pick Dodger, but you getting 30 defensive badges so just know you can max out whatever you want but at the same time don't go too high on badges that you know don't work that high like pick dodger is a waste on hall of fame even though you got 30 defensive badges like it's it's, it's really just not gonna help you <laughs> like it's gonna be just like having soup so you could throw on your moving truck if you want to post move lockdown trapper like it's, it's it's just so much you can do with 30 defensive badges <laughs> um throw on your moving truck uh pickpocket really don't don't work that good on harley so you really don't need it you even throw on a defensive leader because you you're a point guard so like you really don't need like moving truck you don't need box you don't need brick wall worm lightning reflexes garbage <laughs> but that's your pure lockdown defender on books they lifted don't forget to like share and subscribe